she confessed that she'd been sending my nudes. <gasps> on her group chat. Hi guys, my name is Madam Joyce. And my name is Victor Kunda. And guess what? We are back! Yes baby, it's season two of Down, Down in, in the DMs, DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Uh, Down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. <laughs> <laughs> You have shouted, you have screamed, you have hollered, you even sent emails and you messaged us on LinkedIn. And guys, we heard your cries. We have come back with BuzzFeed to give you some amazing advice and to have a good time, isn't it right? But also to remind you, yeah. we are not qualified therapists. Yeah. Okay? We are not doctors. Responsible for anything you decide to do. But guys, if you need specialist advice, Go on over there, because you ain't finding it here, okay? <laughs> Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. Wow! Wow! The harmony was kind of strong! It's called talent. Guys, we have received a lot of dilemmas and it's all scary. We actually live in a very, very scary world. And listen, we've managed to get some of your scary stories collate them into one batch, and we've got some here today. So buckle up and let's go. I don't care about my boyfriend's problems. My boyfriend is a very vocal, passionate person. He gets worked up really easily, and because we work from home, he interrupts my day all the time, venting about his problems. I don't care, and I've never cared. I sit and pretend to listen to him rant, but his problems are never real problems to me. His voice is so grating. But I still love him, I guess. How can you tell someone you don't care about their issues without hurting their feelings? My golly gee, you are bad vibes. It's, it's this, you ain't allowed to watch this anymore, you go over there. Yeah, you're just supposed to care, like. Yeah. You're supposed to care about your partner. How can you say you have no interest and that you love him, I guess? And also half of the time, it's not even they're telling you in terms of they want you to take on their burden. No, they just need someone to like vent to. Like, to. Vent All you need to. to do is just sit there and say, yeah. You're supposed to express yourself. Your partner's supposed to be a safe space for yeah. you. So girl, explain to me why it infuriates you to even be in the same room with him. You need to leave him alone. He is yeah. a good man. You just, you just don't like him. You and just, it's you the fact that like when him. she was even like, I mean, I still love him, I guess. You guess? Girl, you guess, You girl. guess? Is this guess who? <laughs> this ain't guess who, bitch. This ain't guess who. This is a relationship. And unfortunately, darling, we don't think that you're quite qualified to have one. Right now, you're not ready to even listen to someone venting about how they feel, let alone having to be able to do something about it to make them feel better. Yeah. There is a brick wall in your heart uh. that you are digging, yeah. digging, yeah. trying to break through, mm. but you can't get past it. Oh, and geez. that's why your boyfriend who thinks he has a way into your heart, when he's venting, thinking it will mean something to you, yeah. it doesn't because you are still trying to get to your heart as well. Ooh, child, you better preach right now. Give it to me. Mm. Give it to me. Give it to me. And we're moving on to the next one. My boyfriend posted and deleted me off Instagram. Last night, my boyfriend posted a picture on Instagram and I was in the background. I commented on the picture and when I woke up this morning, he had deleted the full post. <laughs> He, he's never fully posted me on Instagram, which I respected, but to delete picture because I was in the background seems very weird to me. He follows a lot of girls he used to date and basically only has girl best friends. Maybe I'm overreacting, but is this something I should bring up? Babe, bring up anything and everything. Girl, if he never posts you, that mean he got another boo. And I can see what you've been through, but you know what to do. Tell him move. Oh, bye bye, Mr. So, coming out. I think I think this round you should just wrap <laughs> and, until the next card. Listen, girl, you are not overreacting. 
you are reacting in the way that is necessary. Overreacting will be busting the windows out of his car. But guess what? He deserves it. It's looking not that deep at the end of the day. It is, but yeah. No, it's, this is actually still really quite hurtful. It's disrespectful. Yeah. It's so disrespectful. Fair enough, there are some guys that are private, but guess what? Private is different to being secretive and pretending that you're single when the way you are not. Sometimes they just don't want people to have a way to get to you. Yeah. For example, if anyone that follows him or he follows... Oh, we'll now see her. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll have someone that comes to her, her as, as a, a woman. woman. Guys will be doing the corner corner stuff, the single boy living, the winking and the working. He gets this. He gets he's a red flag. Listen, he he a red. It's hot. Oh, oh, it's hot. Bye. Oh, oh, it's hot. Bring it up, bring up what's what the issue is. Don't feel bad mm. for saying as a woman, you want your man to express you and show you off publicly. She wants to feel like she's a queen. And if, if you have a king, he's supposed to raise you yeah. and show you like a trophy. He's not mm. supposed to be hiding you and doing kona kona. Listen. Never feel like you're overreacting if you're just communicating how you feel because at exactly. the end of the day, people sometimes take um, bringing up a conversation as immediately it's going to be an argument. But yeah. sometimes it's, it's literally just a conversation. Yeah. So to have that conversation, perhaps he will take it on board and we'll start posting you more. But if, if he doesn't do that, then he can go into the Yeah, and yeah. then he can just be doo-doo. Yeah. Right, let's move on to our next dilemma. Me and my girlfriend have been doing long distance for eight months. So I've been meeting her friends over Zoom. In the latest call, her friend made a joke about my piece and my girlfriend laughed. I felt a little uncomfortable. Afterwards, I chatted to my girl about it and she confessed that she'd been sending my nudes. <gasps> on her group chat, his dick made the GC? Shit. She said I should get over it because I have nothing to be embarrassed about. But I don't know, it makes me feel weird because I thought they were private. She said it won't happen again, but I don't know, honestly, I just want to block her. How do I deal with this? Oh my god, that is so bad. Girl, I'm gonna get on here. I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat you with this. I'm gonna beat you with this. That is so disgusting. Number one, she's like, oh, it's just the girls. And number two, she's trying to also big him up as well and be like, well, you've got nothing to worry about. Is now gonna override the fact that he's not happy. Yeah with her sending his penis to her friends. You break someone's trust. That's breaking someone's trust. Nudes are very intimate, private, yeah. between you and your partner. Mm -hmm. Clearly he, he's not comfortable with it. I feel like if that was me, I would consider ending the relationship. That is a, such a breach of trust. And the fact that she's not even aware that yeah. she's hurt him and she's trying to gaslight him and make it seem like he's overreacting or he's the, or she doesn't see anything wrong with it and he should be happy that a, a friend that you don't even know her name knows the size, length, girth, color, mm. shape of your penis. It's wrong. And she didn't pay. Yeah, yeah, if he's comfortable with that amount of people seeing he's his penis, both. especially you guys all in the Zoom call and the stupid idiots that thought she could open because her mouth to talk about your penis on the Zoom and call. And the girlfriend laughed. If you're comfortable with that, then stay with her. If that's how she is now, imagine if you decide to stay with her and longer. She could be prostituting you by then. Okay. And that is the end of the first episode, guys. Joyce, how are we feeling? Honestly, I had a phenomenal time. You guys have sent incredible dilemmas. And we are going to be back. We are going to be back. And remember what the email is. Three, two, one. And down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Let them know. Down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Let them know. Down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Bye, mixtape. Purr. Thank you.